Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters on the Elmer team, and today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of reverse mortgages. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters, the Elmer team, and today I'm here with Andrew Scammon of Alpine Mortgage Planning, and we're here to talk about the pros and cons of reverse mortgages. So thanks so much for coming on our video blog today. Happy to be here. Thank you, Melinda. Absolutely. So first of all, let's just start with the basics. What is a reverse mortgage? A reverse mortgage is a product that was uh, first developed in the early 60s, uh, actually by insurance salespeople, in order to allow people to borrow money in order to purchase annuities. Uh, FHA got involved in them in 1989. And it's designed to allow someone to use the equity in their house, primarily in order to fund the uh, everyday necessities of life. Okay, great. And who would be eligible for something like that? The minimum age for a borrower is 62. However, there's been change to the legislation that allows a co-borrower who is under the age of 62. And there is no maximum age, but uh, it must be someone 62 years or older. Okay, great. And who would be, uh, you know, other than age, is there any other requirements that they might have for a reverse mortgage? The age is the key one. Uh, the property also has to be a property that FHA will allow us to lend on. So if it's a condominium, it has to be an FHA approved condo. But otherwise, no, as long as it's a, a safe, healthy environment for the borrower, FHA will allow us to lend on it. But uh, the key is the 62 years of age. Great. Now, and I asked Andrew on board because uh, on our video blog today because I've had some recent experiences with um, clients who have reverse mortgages. So, as far as um, as a reverse mortgage, what happens when someone wants to uh, sell a property, for example? How does that work? That's one of the key things that has changed since reverse mortgages were first invented. Uh, FHA writes the regulations that allow us to place a reverse mortgage on a property. And it used to be that the bank actually went on title. So if a person couldn't sell the property, they didn't have that option. Reverse mortgages now allow the person to sell the property. And from a legal standpoint, it's exactly the same as a traditional mortgage. It's just a lien against the property. When the property is sold, that lien is paid off. On a reverse mortgage, however, the balance will be more than they started with. So it, the house can end up being what we call upside down. You can owe more than the value of the house. However, the client, neither the client nor their heirs nor their estate can be held liable for that overage. So even if, if the person owes more, only the property is what goes to pay it back. Okay, great. Now, um, let's say, you know, a big question, I guess, what happens if, uh, if I pass away? What happens to the property then? Uh, again, in, from a legal standpoint, just like a traditional mortgage, the heirs sell the property and they pay off the mortgage balance, whatever that amount is, and the remaining equity in the house goes to the heirs after the expenses of the sale have been taken out. Um, so that's one of the other things that's changed. Um, there's a key difference between a traditional mortgage and a reverse mortgage, and that is the time frame. So a traditional mortgage becomes due as soon as a person would pass away. In a reverse mortgage, if somebody wants to keep the property, then they have 120 days to refinance it. If they want to sell the property, they have six months, hopefully time enough to give them to prepare the property to be effectively marketed, uh, find a suitable listing broker. Like and, myself. Like yourself. <laughs> and then uh, have time to market the, prop the property effectively. And, and if they're going through that and it just hasn't sold yet, there it's possible to get extensions to that as well, up to a maximum of a year. But the uh, first six months usually works out for most people to get the property sold and at a fair price. So they don't have to fire or sale it. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much for coming and answering those questions for us today. If you would like to have more questions about a, pro about a reverse mortgage, you can reach out to Andrew. And he can be reached at 562-743-0111 uh, or his email address is socalreverse at gmail.com. Or, of course, you can reach out to myself at melinda at theelmerteam.com or 562-316-2915. Thanks so much for watching.